Hey everyone, today we are going to discuss about one of the important type of inheritance and that is a multi-level inheritance. Okay, so first let's see the types of inheritance. So there are five types of inheritance which are supported in csharp.net. The first one is a single inheritance, then the second is multiple inheritance, third one is a multi-level inheritance, fourth one is a hierarchical inheritance and the fifth one is a hybrid inheritance. In the previous lecture, we already discussed about the single inheritance and we also discussed about the example program of single inheritance and today we are going to discuss about what is meant by multi-level inheritance and the example of multi-level inheritance. So let's first see what is meant by multi-level inheritance. Multi-level inheritance means when a class is derived from another derived class then this type of inheritance is called as a multi-level inheritance. Here is a class A that is a this is a base class and from class A we derive a new class that is a class B and again from class B we derive the another class that is a class C. So this type of inheritance is called as a multi-level inheritance. So in this type of example here the class B is a child of class A means it is a derived class of class A and it is a parent of class C. So when one class is derived from another derived class then this type of inheritance is called as a multi-level inheritance. So here class C is derived from class B and class B is derived from class A. So one class is derived from another derived class. So this type of inheritance is called as a multi-level inheritance. Now let's see the simple example program of multi-level inheritance. Here I am going to take the base class as a grandfather. From this base class I am going to derive another class that is name that class for example father. And from this derived class that is a father, we again derive another derived class that is called for example son. So let's move on to the example program. Okay, so here I create one project in Visual Studio and name that file the console application as multi-level inheritance. Okay, now let's create base class. How to create a class in csharp.net? First write down the class keyword and then class name. So we have to first create here the base class that is a grandfather. So write down grandfather class grandfather and then inside curly bracket the properties and methods of class base class that is a grandfather. And then after that from this base class we have to create another derived class name that derived class for example father. So here write down the class keyword and then derive class name that is a father colon base class name that is a grandfather and then inside curly bracket there are the properties and methods of class father that is a derived class father so grandfather is a base class and from this base class we create another derived class that is a father and again from this derived class father we have to Again create another derived class. Let's name that derived class for example son. So write down the code again class keyword then derived class name that is a son colon base class name. Base class name is a father. Okay so inside curly bracket there are the properties and methods of class son. Okay so let's understand the sequence. The base class is a grandfather. From the grandfather class we create another class another derived class that is a father and from the derived class father we create another derived class that is a son. When we create one derived class from another derived class then this type of inheritance is called as a multi-level inheritance. So this is a structure of multi-level inheritance. Now write down the code inside the class. So first I am going to write down the function inside the base class that is a grandfather. So here write down the function for example public void display 1 and inside this function just I am going to print the string that is console.writeline and in bracket double quotation I am going to just print the statement that is a grandfather double quotation complete bracket complete end with semicolon then end of function display 1 
now write down the code for the derived class father so father class is derived from the base class that is a grandfather now write down again the function that is a public void display to again write down the statement for example console dot write line in bracket double quotation father double quotation complete bracket complete end with semicolon end of function display to and end of class father now let's write down the code for class son so here i am going to again write down another function that is a public void display 3 display 3 function and inside display 3 function again i am going to write console dot write line in bracket double quotation son end of function display 3 and end of class son okay so in this way here i define three functions one is a display one inside a grandfather class function display two inside the derived class father and function display three inside derived class that is a son now we have to call all these functions so to call the function we use object so let's first create an object so here is a grandfather is a base class from grandfather we create a father class that is a derived class but again from father class we create a new class that is a son so son is the last derived class so here we create the object of class son so write down son for example object name as s equal to new son okay so now here call the call the first function inside the base class that is a display one then the another derived class call the function display 2 and then I am going to call the function display 3. So here write down s dot display 1 then s dot display 2 and s dot display 3. Okay so the program execution starts from the main function here we create object of the derived class son as s. So how to create object the syntax is class name that is a derived class name object name equal to new derived class name so first we call the function that is a display one s dot display one so inside a display one function we print the string as a grandfather so the grandfather string display on the output screen then we call the function display two so here we display the string as father and then we call the function as display3 so we call the function display3 and write down the string as son now at the last write down to read the output console dot read line or console dot read key okay now let's save the program and run okay so this is a output of our program so i hope you understand today's program very well if you have any doubt regarding this topic or any other topic then let me know in the comment section i will try to answer your all the questions thanks for watching